Hi everyone, welcome to Barbie Dolls of the Week. This week we're going to focus on fashion. And you know, I noticed about a year ago I did a fashion, Barbie fashion video that I called number one. But I don't see that I ever did a number two, so this is going to become the number two. A little while in the making. But let's get right to it because there's, there's a lot to talk about. I want to start with some brand new fashions that I just got in the mail today that I got on eBay from a seller named Prairie Tigger. Thank you, Prairie Tigger. Very good shipping and packing. So, first of all, let's look at the earliest one in this group, which is from 1979, made in Taiwan. This is Barbie Beginner Fashions and it is wrap and snap over wrap and tie I don't know if that's the name but it's number 1373 and here's what it looks like and it's got a little bit of staining it looks like on that picture so um, it's not as clear as it might be but it shows that you can you know the doll can wear it just this part or they can have the wrap at the bottom like in the picture here and it also gives directions so that's kinda nice <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to figure out, but um, I thought that was cute. And um, look at the little girl's hair on the top there. That was also kind of cute for the time. Um, my first Barbie fashions came, came in shortly thereafter, and that's what this one is, which is shown here. And I, I've seen this one many times and always liked it, so I really wanted this one. I'm glad I won it. Um, but this is number 1913, and there's just not, you know, they don't need instructions for these. They just slip it on. And I may take this off the card and actually put it on one of my dolls because I really like this, and I want to try it most likely. Um, now, this next one is, um, let me just see here, 83 and 82, so we'll go with the 82. This is uh, kind of a sheath dress or something like that. It's a pink one, and it's fashion fun. It's called Sophisticated Lady, is what the outfit is called. And you see it there on the doll. So cute dress. I'm going to show you another dress in a minute that reminds me of that one. But first, let's look at this one. This is 1983, and you see it's a short little dress. It came with a hanger. That's nice. And here's what it looks like on the doll. So kind of a fun little casual one that's called Golden Mini. Um, so, you know, sometimes when I see outfits like this still on the card after all these years, I wonder if it still fits the doll really well. So there's only one way to find out. So at least that one I'm going to use, and I think probably this one. Um, this one I may leave on the card for right now, so we'll see. But I want to show you this blue... Um, if we look at the back of this one, which I wish they all had this, showing different ones that are available. This is that yellow one. Um, this is an assortment that you see here, including the yellow one I just showed you. But if you look at this one here, it's called uh, Showstopper. Well, I have that one right here on this doll. And I really like this outfit. And I knew it was from the 80s, and it looks like it was about 83. Um, I like the neck piece, and it's nice and cinched, and it's, I like the color and the fabric, and probably the only part I'm not absolutely thrilled with is this this part here, which is okay, but it would I think it would have been better just, you know, continue on as is and just kind of cut off there. But it reminds me a little bit of this one, you know, like this is um, similar. They could go together well, two dolls. Um, so anyway, I wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to back up just a little bit to an older, here it is, an older um, outfit that I think I have shown before, but I want to show it again. It's the oldest one I have out today. And this this is from the 60s. Um, oops, if I can get it re-snapped here. There we go. Uh, and this needs to be, some bows need retied, but I just always have liked this. It's nice and poofy at the bottom. And I think it's cute, and it's modeled by this lovely lady today who has had her hair cut, but I've styled it as best I could with that cut. So this is a nice do um, outfit or dress that's from the 60s, has metal snaps, and um, fits pretty well. Uh, let me move this one. 
Now, before I go any further, I want to talk about a set of books that, if, if you don't know, are very helpful when it comes to the fashions. These are books by Sarah Sinks, Sink Eames, and there is a three-set, uh, three-volume set. So you've got Barbie Fashion, Volume 1, 2, and 3, Volume 1 covers, 1959 to 1967 and as it says it's the complete history of the wardrobe of Barbie doll her friends and family and it really is very helpful I mean I'm sure I've looked through this and I've seen um, several dresses and outfits that I do have but I don't have a lot of older ones since I don't collect this this time period but I got this just for reference especially when I come across um, lots that have things from this era in it and I want to sell them so that's nice to have but volume 2 is from 68 to 74 now I don't have hardly anything from this um, there might be just a few things but um, it's still nice to have and it's such a these are such nice hardback books I certainly recommend them if you can get them at a nice price, a reasonable price, which I think I got a decent price from Amazon. I think it's where I got all of these. And the one that I have the most from is 75 to 79, Volume 3, which there's a lot. I mean, they had a lot of outfits from that time period. I want to show you just a couple like, and so, show you some of the pictures. There's a lot of good pictures. But I want to point out um, this one here. Oops, sorry, I'm on the wrong side. This one here is a 1976 bicentennial outfit, which I have loose, and it's in pretty good shape. Looks cute on a doll. And another one that I want to show you in this book, give me just a second, because I've got several marked here. If I can find it, here it is. It's called Spotlight on Romantic, and it's white. So this one here. And this is such a beautiful outfit, which I have right here on a doll. Now this isn't, this isn't in great shape, this one. And I found it at Goodwill of all places one time many years ago, I think. I don't remember how many. But it's got, you know, like this nice long piece here. And it's, it's still in pretty good shape now. It's uh, kind of showing some parts there. Pretty good shape, but it's certainly not great shape. Um, let me try and straighten it out here some. And it's missing some sequins, but it still looks nice. And um, it does have one little, <laughs> one little, uh, whatever you want to call this here. I think there's usually two. This one on this side is not there anymore. But um, I really do like this. And, you know, there were two other colors that uh, I think were, I want to say were blue and pink. And one was a European version of that, and one was a store, department store version. I don't have either of those. So um, let's go on to some 70s fashions. While the phone rings, we'll just let it ring. Um, starting with this one. Now, I showed you this on a card last week on a video that I had gotten at the fairgrounds for $4. I was so happy. But this is one that's on the doll itself. And it is, as you can see, an African-American doll. And I think it looks really nice on her. Um, I had referred to this, so I wanted to show it today. It's got nice long hair. It's got a slit on the side. So uh, it's a beautiful outfit. Very 70s. Here's another one that's very 70s. Uh, that's a black and white outfit, kind of like that. Just a long sheath-like dress, modeled this time by a Magic Curl Barbie. And um, I think it looks pretty good. It's not my favorite, but I like it. I do want to show this one that is um, an Oscar de la Renta. Now this is the blue cape outfit and it works a lot better when the doll's hair is up so the, the top of the cape can be up. Um, but it's such a beautiful outfit I wanted to show it even though I'm sure I've shown it before. Let me show it to you without the cape so you can get a good look at the dress itself. It really is a gorgeous dress. And let me straighten the bottom out. And this is what it looks like. Now this is an Oscar de la Renta and I have, here's the box that one of them came in, not this one, but I also have the red version and that's the, the one on the end here, which I'm not showing today, but you see the blue version there as well. And one of these days I want to get this one 
and maybe the third one. But, um, but anyway, I do like this one the best. So I'm glad that I got it. And speaking of dresses I'm glad I got, this one, of course, I've never taken out. But this is the Barbie Collector Series 3 for Christy, PJ, and Tracy, too, it says. Um, this is from 1983. And here's what it looks like on a doll. So it sort of reminds me of that dress I just showed you, but in a different color. It's a little bit like that. Uh, the bottom is much fuller, but it's, it's got a similar feeling. So I really like that. Okay, let's go on because I want to get as much in today as possible. And I've got another four, five, six dolls to show you. This is a holiday Barbie in a beautiful little dress that I just love. Now, I don't know for sure this is Barbie. It's one of the only ones today that I don't know if this is definitely Mattel. But I think it is. It's It feels like it and seems like it to me. And I think I've seen it before in a Mattel book or something. Um... So anyway, it's a little poofy on the bottom, but it looks so good on this holiday Barbie who's modeling it from some years back, and I like her earrings, by the way. Um, not sure they look great with this, but I think they look okay. But what do you guys think of this? Let me know what you think of these fashions and which ones are your favorite. This is, by the way, Velcro in the back, but the top part is a plastic snap. So, um, you know, they went from metal to plastic to Velcro, and sometimes like this, there's a little bit of both. Now, this is a Fashion Avenue fashion, I believe from the 90s. Um, I always thought it was cute, and, you know, it's, it's very winter and kind of cool. Uh, and it looks good on this doll here. I'm not sure which doll this is, but um, she looks good in it. So, one of the many wonderful Fashion Avenue outfits. I got some over the years, but I don't probably have a ton. Now, um, let's see here. I showed you that one. Here's two really simple dresses, but ones that I like, especially this one. This is modeled by a Canadian or Dolls of the World Canada Barbie that I got. But I like this outfit. I wish the bow in the back was a little bit smaller or, the, or the, they did gave you a little less fabric. But other than that, I like it. And it could use a little cinching at the waist, so maybe I'll put something around that. But I just think this is a really cute dress. I think it looks good on her. And um, I just think the simplicity is nice, especially for young kids. They could just put it on, and just as long as they can tie a bow, you know, it's good to go. But, fun outfit. Okay, this one is, is kind of basically the same. This is modeled by a 70s Barbie, uh, Malibu, one of the Malibu Barbies, I believe. And you see the tan lines there uh, on her, right there. But... This is just, again, kind of slip it on, tie it in the back, and you're good. Now, this, either this was cut or it didn't have as much bow because you see here that there's not some big thing in the back. So that I like that better when there's not quite as much fabric loose in the back. And it's very, um, you know, white with red dots. Definitely the waist needs cinch. So over the years, I guess, you know, just a lot of them lose that cinch, that um, elasticity. And so I'm definitely going to put something around her waist to give her a waist again. But it's just simple. It looks good on her. It looks like she just went out, you know, some casual little trip she's going to do maybe to the somewhere. I don't know. The market, church, who knows, summer. <laughs> Could be a casual church outfit. Nothing fancy. Okay. And the last two for today, I think I got to everything. Um... It's been a whirlwind, I know, but I wanted to show you a lot. So I talked about this in a recent video. This is, of course, Dream Glow Barbie, and it's the African American, which I love her hair here. They had this doll has great hair. Now the the rubber band has come loose, and I see some more parts of it still in there that I'm digging out. But um, I really like this. But as far as the outfit, I'm just I don't like it that much. I said that in the last one of those videos. And this one, unfortunately, has some staining that I don't know where that came from. I think when I got her, it was already like that. I, I, In fact, I know that. But I wanted to show it because it is an 80s fashion, but it's just an example of one that I don't like that much. But I think it does look cute on her, especially from here on up. <laughs> and so 
it's a it's an 80s fashion and speaking of 80s fashions and saving one of the best for last I wanted to talk about this Golden Dream Christie and as you see obviously she's African American that's why she's Christie they were still calling her that back then but I, I always like this outfit because it's sort of a copper version or it is a copper version of the Golden Dream and I love this part here that can be worn on different parts of her body. Um, I love this, ar the arm sheaths, and um, you know the copper is kind of fun and it looks good with her skin tone. So to finish up today, we finish up with a beautiful Christie doll in this gorgeous outfit on her. And I thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this whirlwind fashion tour for Barbie fashions. Take care everyone. Bye.